Well, hello, my friend, and welcome back to the Oki Smoking Channel. And today I'm going to be going ahead and cooking in my pit barrel on the cast iron skillet. We're going to make chili right on here. I've been preheating it, and we're right now at 335 degrees. I'm looking for about a 225 or 325 for this cook. I'm going to go ahead and get started. Just go ahead and add a little olive oil. Now this is a real easy and quick cook. Uh, hopefully we can get this done really quick. You know, half hour, 45 minutes, and this chili will be done. Just let those onions uh, cook up. So yeah, cooking this on the uh, Pit Boss pellet smoker I just got. And uh, thought it'd be great to heat this thing up and uh, we'll cook some uh, chili on it. Yeah, it's really a perfect time for some chili uh, right here in Oklahoma. We're in the 60s today, so it's also a perfect time for cooking outdoors uh, like I like to do right here. So uh, we're going to cook these onions up a little bit. I'm going to throw some, I got 93% lean ground beef. That way I don't have to worry about a bunch of grease. We're not going to drain it. And uh, we're going to throw some chili powder, some cumin, uh, really kick it up with a little bit of cayenne pepper and a uh, little other things, spices, salt, pepper. It's gonna be good. So this is a little bit over one pound, uh, $7.21 uh, is what was spent on the meat. So we're about 10 minutes in and the meat is uh, pretty much done. Let's take a look. Look at that, wow. Now, I did go ahead and crank this up to 400 degrees. <clears throat> I might crank it back down once we get going here, but that got it heated up better. Also, this particular Pit Boss model, you can uh, remove the cover from the bottom, and I did that so that the flame would come through, and uh, that has worked out extremely helpful, and everything's moving along just fine, so a little hotter, remove the uh, screen, You'd think I'd test these things uh, before I go to YouTube, but what's the fun in that, right? All right, let's go ahead and add the good stuff. So here I've just got a little salt, a little pepper, uh, a little cumin in this one. I got the star of the chili show right here, of course, the chili powder. Now, in here I've got some uh, sugar, and also some tomato paste, which the tomato paste got stuck to the sugar. Should be all right. And I've got some kidney beans. These were just canned, uh, rinsed, Rinse them, drain them. Uh, you can make your own if you want. And uh, a couple cups of beef broth. Pour that right in there. Let's go ahead and start and stir this up a little. You know, I just, I just, I'm sitting here and I'm watching sparks come up and down. I just love the, uh, you know, grilling, cooking outdoors. It's just awesome. Cooking chili on the pit bus. Making sure you uh, preheat this cast iron if you do it this way. Probably a good 15 minutes, maybe even a half hour because that cast iron needs heated. I'm going to throw in some diced tomatoes, just cheap brand. Once again, cheap brand. I like to save money. You want the name brand? Buy name brand. I'm gonna put some tomato sauce in here. And then we're gonna stir all that in. Starting to look mighty fine, folks. Wow.
one thing I almost forgot this is optional uh, a little ground red pepper this is basically cayenne pepper again the cheap version uh, I'm just gonna well, there ain't no sprinkler deal I'm just gonna put a little bit that's more than a little bit but we're gonna throw it in there if you have little kids or something that don't like uh, hot stuff you make you can omit it just omit it that hot sauce afterwards uh, I don't think that's gonna do a whole lot to it but I like the flavor I like the kick and all that hot sauce so that's starting to look beautiful sometimes you could add a sausage or pork chop I did that. I've done that a few times I have some smokies in here I need a little bigger pan than what I got right now but that's looking great so I'm gonna leave this on that high 400 degrees for just a little bit when this thing starts to boil I'm gonna go ahead and uh, simmer it for about a half hour just turn the heat down and just let it simmer I'm not even going to close the lid I'm just going to let this get hot and start boiling well if you are new here my name's John this is the Oki smoking channel and you're witnessing my backyard cooking in my outdoor kitchen on my cast iron skillet I do uh, smoked things cooked on here uh, just love cooking outdoor starting to get this to a boil here but let me just do a close-up bring this camera over just look at that I think it looks amazing Wow you can see that fire under there Wow And I just got <laughs> a little breeze come through it. I got a whiff of that. It smells good. Whoa. Yeah, I could I could smell it. I want to taste it. Wow. That is really good. Alright, we're starting to get to a boil here. So now we're at a boil. <clears throat> and I'm gonna go ahead and bring this temperature down. We're just gonna set it on about 250 and uh, let that simmer. I'm not gonna cover the uh, cast iron skillet, but I am just gonna go ahead and close this. Uh, just so I, if the heat will kind of stay inside a little bit. And uh, let that cool down a little bit and just kind of be at a more of a less boil, not quite a boil, and do that for about a half hour. I might turn the heat down a little more if it keeps boiling might keep it about right there if I have to turn it down I will and then I'm gonna bring you back to the finished product give me 30 minutes but it will be one second for you so it's been 30 minutes and you can already tell the Sun is going down so I've got this I'm not sure how this will look hopefully it'll look okay so a phone so I could take a look at this uh, we did set this to about 200 degrees because that seemed to and look at that that seemed to simmer it nicely I think it looks I think it looks gorgeous look at that and uh, let me go ahead and get a spoon and at 200 degrees it's simmering nicely it's adding smoke to this and just look at that thickening up yeah we're gonna throw some cheese on it throw this in a bowl add some cheese and uh, cracker maybe some Tabasco or your favorite hot sauce of whatever Wow here we go I'll meet you inside
So here we go. We got our smoked chili cooked in about an hour. You can cook this in under an hour. Uh, I think it looks great. We got our chili, got a little cheese on it, a little sour cream, and uh, I get some. <laughs> got that smoke smell. Love it. Absolutely love it. I'm just going to go ahead and test this on a cracker. So I got a cracker here, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and I'm just going to put it on here. This will be great in a bowl with some crackers. I do believe. Now, we got the cayenne pepper in here, but there's one thing I also want to add to this. Got to add a little hot sauce if you want to, and I'm going to go ahead and try the Mile High Guy Barbecue Jalapeno Sauce. We're going to just put a, a dab of this on there. Just a dot. How about that? All right. Going in. Here we go. Oh, my. Folks, that's how you make chili right there. Wow. Hmm. absolutely delicious i'm going to be getting me a bowl of that and adding some of that uh, hot sauce to that and a couple of crackers it's really good well i'll see you soon